Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through our pantries, freezers, all of that, refrigerator, and I'm just going to show you what we have, our long and short term food storage. So keep in mind we're a family of two, we've become recent, new, um, not newlyweds, no, not newlyweds, empty nesters, there we go. But we regularly feed more than just ourselves, at least once a week, and so just keep that in mind. Our place is the one where we have all the birthdays, Christmas, all the parties. So let's get on with it. So this is the overview of my fridge. So in the, in the doors, we have all the condiments and, you know, jalapenos and pepperoncinis and jellies and some extra watermelon. Got eggs back there. It's kind of a mess. I need to clean this out. Random leftovers, which are all still good. We just need to use them up, which we probably will tonight. Got some eggs, and back there I got some smoothies, milk, oat milk, orange juice, lemon water, carrots. In this little basket I've got my cheeses, a little bit of salami, and the crisper drawer with the veggies. This one has the fruits in it. Some celery for making juice down here. Look how filthy that is, you guys. Look how dirty that is, see? I did not clean this up. And in this drawer, some more condiments, the ketchup, mustard, mayo, all of that kind of stuff. Some Yoshida's for um, doing marinades. So this inside freezer, we have, oh, I forgot I had a dilly bar. Anyway, we've got some dilly bars, some nuts in here. I got these little bags of nuts when they were on sale after Christmas. I got them for like 50 cents, so I have several of those. Got some bacon, some graham cracker crumbs, cracker crumbs, bread crumbs. Um, this is a little bag I've started for making my own veggie broth. It's so good. If you just take all of your leftover, you know, your just pieces that you cut off of your veggies making dinner and whatever and put them in there, you make your own broth. It's delicious. Add some herbs and whatnot. Let's see. Got a ham shank. A piece of salmon or bacon. And in this one, got some ice cream. A bag of decaf. I just buy it at uh, Winco. And just use their grinder, that way I don't have to bother having my own. Some tater tots. Bananas for banana bread. Yeah, the ice cream. We got some sausages. A whole bunch of berries. Some frozen veggies down there. Okay, so remember I did not clean up before you were coming. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, so up top we have... Um, extra flour, sugar, brown sugar. This is my baking area. This one here has some beans and rice in it. Uh, this one is another, it's got cake mixes and uh, chocolate chips. This one here has marshmallows. It's a whole bunch of baking goods. But these are really heavy and I'm one-handed right now, so I'm not going to be pulling them down. We've got some pasta. Uh, some more baking stuff, oats. Um, this is all my, like, in-use stuff, what I'm using right now. And the next shelf down, we have the dried beans and rice, lentils, all of that. Got some pasta, refried beans. Uh, this, uh, this is really handy. I don't know if, um, any of you guys have one of these, but it is really handy. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's just kind of this three-step thing. And it's perfect for all those, like, the jars, the weird little cans, nothing stacks. It's perfect for that. And then you can see everything because it's stepped up and you can see behind and whatever. So in here, I have um, some bouillon, some random can of salmon, uh, chicken, uh, well, and actually, the bouillon cubes are back here. Let's see. And... This is just a whole bunch of packages of stuff. We got brown gravy, country gravy, enchilada sauce, 
uh, beef broth, chicken broth. And down here we have some soups and some mandarin oranges, some more beef stock. That was one of those free items you get for using your um, card at Safeway or whatever. Over here, some cereal and condiments, peanut butter, all that kind of stuff. And in here, back here, we've got syrup and yeah, like real maple syrup, the like pancake syrup, and some Oreos, some uh, uh, basket with a whole bunch of random candies in it. Uh, up, let's see, where are we at here? Sunflower seeds, granola bars, nuts, got some cashews back there. Up here uh, is random little jars of candy that are almost gone. We don't have any kids that live here anymore, so uh, these are not full. I'm not, you know, using going through them as much anymore. Over here, we got some lunch stuff. Uh, some little pudding snacks and fruit pies. Just my husband really likes those things. Uh, let's see, popcorn and some crackers. This is the open bag, um, basket of crackers. On this side, we have mostly uh, paper goods. Yeah, the toilet paper, paper towels. Uh, let's see, all that stuff. Aluminum foil, Ziplocs, napkins, all that. And here it looks like we have a ton of chips. And we kind of do, but I'm stocking up right now because we are going camping. And so a lot of this stuff will be taken with us. Some peanuts, teas, and the extra salt and pepper to refill all my stuff. All my shakers and whatnot. Got some seltzer waters, coconut water, some blueberry juice. And then over here, we got all the oils, and I got my vitamins and spices. You know, all the random spices and extras. So this is more of our long-term food storage. Lots of canned goods. Got the beans and chilies up there. Uh, vegetables down here. Tomato sauce fruits, some rice rooney, all kinds of broth and olives, pickled asparagus and regular pickles, olives, all of that kind of stuff. Got that. And here we have, this is kind of the baking area of that. I got the, I've got the extra sugars. Um, let's see. Sugars, oils, Got some Crisco back there, a couple of pie crusts, chocolate chips, cake mixes, you know, vanilla, all of that kind of stuff. Flour, sugar, gluten-free flour, pancake mix, oats. And on the bottom there, we've got the backups for all of the, um, the seasonings and whatnot. Some juice, some extra cereal down there. Over here, you'll see it looks like a whole bunch of junk food, but like I remember, we're going camping, so a lot of this will be taken with us. This isn't a, necessarily a normal scenario. Oh, we've got the stove top there, too. A whole bunch of honey, soups, pastas, some more condiments. We've got some canned uh, fish, salmon, tuna, fish, salmon, and tuna, clams. There we go. Salmon, tuna, soups. And I don't know if you can see in here very well. Looks like you probably can. We've got a bunch of Ziplocs, paper plates, kitchen bags, all kind with some shampoo, aluminum foil, freezer paper, all kinds of stuff. There's extra paper towels back there. So over here, we've got a whole bunch of different supplements, and I've got hydrogen peroxide, alcohol. Those are for cleaning. We use those a lot for cleaning and laundry and that kind of thing. Uh, the sprays for the bathrooms, Q-tips, batteries. And in this drawer I have a whole bunch of random things that I get for, you know, if I find something that's two for a dollar or 75 cents or whatever, I'll grab three or four of them. 
And so in here I've got some feminine products. Granted, those were not 75 cents, but they are backups. Um, some Carmex, ibuprofen, little, um, oh, what are these? Little first aid kits that are, that are perfect. I was going to put one of those in each one of the vehicles, actually. I forgot about that. Some cough drops, sponges, flossers, let's see, toothpaste, toothbrushes, toothbrush holders, a whole bunch of matches, floss. What else we got in here? Yeah. Mouthwash, soap, hand soap, lotion, baby soap. All right, that's all for that. And then sometimes what I do is I'll just put together um, little thing when I know people are coming over. And I'll just, like in one of my guest rooms, I'll just put, you know, a little basket and has like a toothbrush and, you know, stuff like that in it. Because inevitably people forget their toothbrush. So that works out well. All right, so now I'm outside. You may hear some traffic because we're out in the garage. So this is one of the outside freezers. In this one, there's is the one that we keep all of the like berries, fruits and vegetables, some ice cream, popsicles. Um, yeah, yeah, all the fruits and veggies freezer. And down here, I've got some watermelon that it was one of those watermelons that it just. It, the flavor was good, but it was just really mealy and whatever, so I'm freezing it, and I'm just going to put it in Ziplocs and use it for some smoothies. It's the outside refrigerator, which doesn't have a whole lot in it. Right now, we've got some drinks down there. We don't generally buy soda, but we do uh, when I know the kids were coming over and all that, and it's summertime, so they're going to be over playing in the pool and whatnot. And just having barbecues and whatever. Got some oat milk back there. Some condiments. Creamer. And in this fridge here. Got some frozen butter. And just some like uh, convenience foods. We've got the tater tots down there. Some lasagnas. A pot pot. And this one is our meat freezer. So on this side. Other than a little bit of pork right here on the top. This whole side is beef. We've got um, some steaks down there, a few roasts. I have no ground beef right now, so I'm waiting for that to come on sale, and then I will get as much of it as I want to or I can, and then I'll put that and fill up this top basket. Over here, we've got the pork. So we've got, the, got some bacon, some shoulder roasts, a ham. We've got a bunch of um, breakfast sausage down there. And also some regular sausages, hot dogs. These are really heavy, so I'm not pulling them out. That's why that looks like, or why I'm not pulling those out. But, and over here we've got all that chicken deal that I got. I got chicken for 99 cents a pound. So I got a bunch of thighs, drumsticks, some whole chicken. So that's within this little basket area. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour around the house. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.